standard. The lack of ABS in the 1970s underscored the importance of technological advancement and widespread adoption of life-saving features. Before the advent of modern dual-circuit braking systems, many cars in the 1970s still relied on single-circuit brake systems. In these designs, the entire braking system was dependent on a single hydraulic circuit. While this setup worked under ideal conditions, it presented a catastrophic risk if the system failed. In the event of a leak or rupture in the hydraulic lines, the brakes could completely fail, leaving the driver with no way to stop the vehicle. This flaw was particularly hazardous in larger cars and trucks, which were prevalent during the 1970s and required significant braking power to halt their momentum. Manufacturers began transitioning to dual-circuit brake systems during the late 1960s and 1970s. These systems divided the braking mechanism into two independent circuits, one for the front wheels and one for the